Hi Joe, I was wondering what your view is um, on coffee intake in relation to the ketogenic diet. Okay, so coffee, coffee on the ketogenic diet. Now coffee is a stimulant, I love coffee. I mean, who doesn't, right? Uh, but you wanna limit your coffee intake. Uh, and also some bodies uh, uh, do well on coffee, some people don't, it's like peanuts. Um, so you wanna, so if you, if, you're, if, you, if you enjoy coffee and it gives you energy, uh, then drink it. Um, but if you're, so if you're doing intermittent fasting and you want to have some coffee outside, outside of your um, eating window, then you want to only have black coffee. And ideally, you don't want to have more than one cup of coffee and you don't want to drink coffee uh, after about 2 p.m. You want to keep the coffee to the morning or early afternoon. You definitely don't want to be drinking in the evening um, and you want to limit the coffee. The, the, the less frequently you have coffee, the better its effects. So if you have coffee like uh, a couple of times a week, that's much better than having coffee every single day. Um, so yeah, coffee is great. And you can also make bulletproof coffee. So this is coffee, which you put in your blender, ideally a Nutribullet or something like a Nutribullet. And you pour a good amount of fat in there, like butter or ghee or coconut oil. Um, you whisk that at really high speed and then you get really creamy, frothy coffee. And it's amazing, it'll give you energy all day. This is known as a bulletproof coffee. It's a, a lot of entrepreneurs do this, especially, and what they'll do in the first thing in the morning, instead of having breakfast, they'll have a bulletproof coffee. And that will then give them sustained energy for the rest of the day. Uh, because what happens if you blend it at really high speed, the caffeine in the coffee blends in into the fat with which is the butter or the ghee or the coconut oil and so then when you drink it the, the fat gets um, absorbed slowly and so it's releasing the caffeine into your bloodstream on a on a drip fed on a slow slow progression rather than one big hit and so you get this sustained release of caffeine into your bloodstream into your brain and then but with that you get the fat as well you get the saturated fats with the, the caffeine, so which is what your brain needs to operate uh, optimally. So you get both of it. You get the energy, you get the fat, and you also get the caffeine to give it, to kick your brain into gear. So yeah, coffee's great. Just limit it, Just limit it. So I've understood that you've shared that stimulants aren't great for you. Um, however, bullet coffee is. As Black tea and green tea and white tea all have caffeine in them as well as chocolate. Would they also be things that you limit and or could you make this bulletproof coffee with tea instead? You can make it with anything. So I used to run workshops on bulletproof coffee and uh, I used to teach people how to make um, bulletproof coffee. Instead of with coffee, you can make it with turmeric. Turmeric would be a good one for use in the evening uh, because it's not a stimulant. Uh, you can make it with raw cacao powder. Uh, that would be, again, it's a stimulant, so you only want to drink that either in the morning or the afternoon, early afternoon. Uh, the other one would be a mushroom complex or a lion's mane mushroom coffee powder. Um, again, that is, you can make coffee, bulletproof coffee from that as well. And again, that will also give you the energy. Um, where else could you make it with Brahmi? You can use Brahmi as well. Um, I'm sure whatever you want. And you can also make it with black tea as well, if you want. Just make sure it's quite thick, you know, like it's a strong one so that the fat, you know, otherwise it'd be too bland. It's harder to make it with green tea because it'd just be too bland, I think. Um, I was just thinking about the drinks that you were mentioning that you could make, and one of them was a mushroom drink. What are the advantages of this mushroom drink? And so, so is it a powder or do you cut up your own mushrooms? So you can buy uh, mushroom. So what I buy, 